Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how I take notes um, while I'm learning to code. Um, I've gotten this question a lot, both in email and um, those of you that DM me on Instagram. How do I take notes while learning to code slash during my time in coding bootcamp? So it's a very similar process for me regarding how I actually go about taking notes. Um, in undergrad and just throughout time, I've, I've always learned that I, I don't know what it is. I know that I'm a person that I like to write things down. Like I, I, I'm a writer, that's how I learn is through writing. Um, I'm not so visual and I'm not so kind of auditory, but more so like writing. So obviously with coding, you don't necessarily need to write. So I had to find ways to actually learn how to code or learn a programming language or learn whatever we were learning in bootcamp. So I utilized my iPad. So my iPad, I've had this particular iPad I've had since 2019, but I've actually been using iPad like to take notes since about maybe 2014, 2015. I had another iPad and I personally highly recommend either utilizing an iPad or writing it. I actually have my JavaScript notes when I learned, it, learned JavaScript, I have it uh, handwritten. And even now when I learn Java, I actually have it handwritten. So I usually tend to go between um, paper or using like an electronic format, which is um, my iPad in this case. I know some people will type notes, but just for me, that's just how I uh, learned. That's one way of learning and that's how I particularly utilize learning, both learning how to code outside of bootcamp and during bootcamp. So for iPad, I utilize um, an app. It's called Notability. Um, there's another one called GoodNotes that people, I've heard good things about as well, but I, I just stick to what I know. And I've, like I said, I've been using iPad since forever. So like to take notes forever. And what I like about Notability is that you're able to download your PowerPoints or just freestyle right into an app and it's all safe. And mine is backed up to my Google Drive. Um, so I can easily access my notes even after I've written on them. I can easily access them and later turn them into flashcards. Um, so for instance, I will pull up one of my old notes. This is actually from my boot camp unit one week one. Okay. <laughs> so I had my intro to get in your class repo. Let me pick something else that I probably really wrote. Okay. So here's one. Uh, Dom event uh, JavaScript. So this was the notes from the actual bootcamp. And as you can see, I've highlighted on them. I'm hoping you guys can see that. And you can see if I, if I zoom in, I'll also include a picture so you guys can see. Like my own notes in there. I would go up, I usually, I usually go back and forth between both. I have, uh, I usually either will, in class, I started off with my iPad and taking notes, but then towards like mid to late, I noticed that I was spending a lot of time like taking notes in class and not always paying attention to like what they're coding. So I also utilize paper. Um, and I would just quickly jot down something and if I needed to re-ask, I would. And then later on, I would go back through my note and I would actually like mark or highlight that section that I, I had taken a note about. So sometimes you don't have time to completely sit and just take notes, but this is one way I learned to code, um, how I learned to code as well as like taking notes while I learned to code. Um, another way is through just uh, typing. I know I have a lot of friends that they just use Google Drive and they'll create a folder for whatever they're learning. Um, and they'll just, you know, take their own notes how they want, type, type, type. I find it good because as I'm learning and as I'm building projects, I like being able to reference my paper. I know it's not always the best. You know, most people just say, hey, just continue to Google whenever you can't remember something Google. But for me, just for it to like solidify in my head and like the concept in my head, it's that physical writing um, that does it for me where I'm able to go back and then eventually I don't need the notes, but uh, at least at the beginning to, until it solidifies in my brain, like that this is how it functions. Um, I'm just not the type to continuously Google 
this like how to do a loop or for a loop how, loop loop looping like i don't i like it because then i can break it down in my own writing um i also have friends who they don't necessarily take notes what they'll do is they'll just you know follow a tutorial and build a project and by doing that that they're the type where you know when they get to a part of the tutorial they don't understand then they'll go and uh look up either on stack overflow on w3 schools uh i think it's called w3 schools or w3 school um they'll look up uh documentation like Mo mozilla mozilla i don't know how to pronounce it but i'll link all of this down below but um they'll read a lot of documentation about what they're actually doing versus like learning everything because like i said and like people online always say, once you learn one language, it's just a matter of learning syntax for the different language and how like really just a different syntax. And then everything else is kind of is more so like loops are the same. It's just how do you start the loop? How do you end it? You know, things like that. So mostly syntax is the difference. Um, so I have friends that won't necessarily write, but do that. Um, during boot camp and prior to boot camp, I utilized Udemy. Um, I would say I have mixed reviews about it. I think Udemy is good when you're physically doing something like coding where it's like, all right, they're showing you how to do it. Now you go do it. But for me, I'm currently studying for AWS um, Solutions Architect and Udemy has not really been working for me. I'm not a sit down and watch videos type of person, even though they did give us or the instructor did give us uh, notes to put or uh, PowerPoints. So, I, but it's like not everything is on a PowerPoint slide. So it's a mix. And for me, it just has not been working. Even though I do have the notes in my um, iPad and my notability, it's just, that's just not the way. So it's okay to also switch it up, right? So I'll actually show you guys what I've recently done for Solution Architect. Instead of going by their notes, I ended up having to, and I will also put a screenshot of this in the note. Write my own notes. So I literally have, for all the domains for Solutions Architect, I have my notes, which essentially, if I didn't have an iPad, I would do this on paper. And I'm able to utilize um, this. And then I can back it up in my Google Drive, so. Um, I feel like those are the main two methods, main two or three methods that I personally heard about when people are learning to code. Those are the methods they use to like make sure that they can like a uh, language or a concept is solidified in their head. Don't be afraid to pull out some paper or an iPad or a note taking, um, I think I've heard, what's that one called? Uh, OneNote by Microsoft, I think is, I think that's who, it, who has it. Um, don't be afraid to go back to, you know, when you were in school, if you were ever in high school or middle school or whatever, and you took notes, do not be afraid to go back to that, uh, method in order while you're learning to code. You don't obviously need to do it for everything. And over time, you're not going to need those notes anymore, but it's just a practice of doing it that sometimes is what helps, uh, solidify it in your brain. Lastly, I utilize a lot of flashcards. Um, and those flashcards, I use, I make the flashcards on my own based on what I've personally written down and what I think is important. Um, that's just because it's like, you're now writing it in your own language. Um, I learned through repetition. Like I'm one of those people in undergrad, like when I was studying, if I needed to memorize, like let's say 50 terms for a test, if I made flashcards within two, three hours, like everything, at least for the test, everything was in my brain. Um, so I utilize uh, Quizlet, I'll link it below. Um, and that's where I actually use, utilize, and I'm utilizing for both of my AWS certs. Um, but I also, uh, during, when I was learning science, um, a popular one is called Anki, um, and it's actually downloadable online, I mean, to your computer, and it's about space repetition. Um, so I think when you're maybe learning data structures and algorithms, and I think I'm going to migrate my um, learn my flashcards to Anki because it's just a very smart program that uh, does flashcards, but in a very different way. So instead of you choosing which ones, based you can give it dates and times, and it's gonna tell you and you mark it 
easy, hard, medium, whatever. And it is going to track for you what you've gotten wrong, how long you've been hesitating, things like that. And it's going to keep doing that for you. So you don't have to do with Quizlet. Sometimes you have to like pull it out of Quizlet. I like your, your, your statistics on like which cards you've gotten right, which cards you've gotten wrong, all those things. But with Anki, it does it for you. It's completely free. I'll link that below. Um, but if you, the thing about it is it's kind of open source. So if you don't use it, you lose it because they want to free it up for somebody else to be able to download it and enjoy it as well. So those are some tips or those are some things that I personally use to um, learn how to code slash how did I take notes and learn during my boot camp experience. So I'm hoping that somebody can utilize this as well. If there's something that I haven't listed or said that you think can help somebody, or if you use something that has been very effective for you, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and I definitely will pin it um, just so, you know, we can help each other, you know, learn how to learn. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and uh, hopefully, you know, you're still on your journey learning and I wish you guys the best. So with that being said, have a good one.